la la. Hey mom, how huh, sweetie, how was school? Could have been better, I guess. You had a bad day? Sort of. Well, honey, sit down. Tell me what's going on. So, what's going on? Well, remember how Mary Ellen has been so sick? Your friend Mary Ellen? Well, yeah, who else would I be talking about? Don't get smart. Sorry. Well, anyway, I do know who Mary Ellen is. What's going on? Well, you know how she's been getting sick and getting all those headaches? Yeah, I remember you telling me something about that. Isn't that why she came over a few weeks ago and then asked to go home after an hour? Yeah. Oh, well, did you and Mary Ellen have a fight? Not really. Melody, what are you trying to tell me? What I'm trying to tell you is that Mary Ellen told me that... That? Mom, she has cancer. She does? Yes. And I don't know what to say to her. Sweetie, it's a terrible thing to have cancer, but don't focus on that. But I I don't know what to do to make Mary Ellen feel better. What would make Mary Ellen feel better is if you treat her like you've always been treating her. You mean you don't want me to feel sorry for her? Well, I don't think Mary Ellen would appreciate it if you felt sorry for her. But my heart would have been in the right place. Look, Melody, try to look past the cancer. Can I invite Mary Ellen over? Of course you can. Only if her mom agrees, though. Thanks, Mom. Okay. Dinner will be in about 20 minutes, so make your phone call fast. I will. Hey, Cheyenne. Hey. What's wrong? You look upset. Well, I am kind of bummed out. Why? What's wrong? Can you get off your computer for like two seconds so I can talk to you? Sure. What's going on? Well, you know how Mary Ellen left our house a few weeks ago? You know, her and I were hanging out and then she complained that she had a headache and had to go home. Yeah, you told me that Mary Ellen's been having headaches a lot lately. Well, yeah, well... Melody, what's wrong? Mary Ellen went to the doctor and the doctor said Mary Ellen had cancer. Really? Yeah, and I don't know what to say to her. But how did you find out Mary Ellen had cancer? Did she tell you? Well, yeah, but only, but not until after the teacher told us that Mary Ellen had cancer. Oh, wow. That's got to be really hard on you. Ugh, you have no idea how hard this is for me. I mean, I don't know what to say to her. Well, what did you say to her at school today? She wasn't at school. She probably was at a doctor's appointment or something. Well, will she be going to school with you? Well, soon. But I don't know what to say to Mary Ellen. Well, just treat her like you always treat her. But what if that's not good enough? Melody, Mary Ellen is a good friend of yours. But don't be her, don't remain her friend just because you feel sorry for her. Well, I like Mary Ellen. Her and I have been friends since kindergarten, you know that. Well, then you should have no problem handling Mary Ellen. Just treat her like you always do. Look past the cancer. Funny, that's what Mom said. Well, she's right. Okay. I'll give Mary Ellen a call and ask her to come over. Mom already said it was okay. Great. I will help Mom with dinner and give you your privacy. Thanks, Diane. Yep. Okay, I got a phone call to make. Mm -hmm. Come in. Hey. Hey, you made it. Yeah. So what's up? Um, well, Mom said I can invite you all for dinner. That's good. Did you bring any medicine with you? Why would I bring medicine with you? For your, uh, cancer? I take my medicine before I go to bed. 
and when I wake up in the morning. I don't take it in the middle of the day. Oh. So, what do you want to do, Melody? Uh, I don't want you to overexert yourself, so maybe we can just go on my computer. You know, quietly. I don't need any quiet. What's up with you? Nothing is up with me. But I do have a couple questions to ask. Okay, what? Are you afraid of dying? Uh, I don't want to answer that. You are scared, aren't you? Melody, can we stop talking about my cancer? Okay. We can stop talking about it. So how was the hospital? I bet the food was disgusting. The food wasn't all that bad, actually. It's better than my mom's cooking. <laughs> yeah. Do you think... How do you think you got your cancer? I don't know. It's just something that happened. Did your family have a history of cancer? I know my grandmother had it. Before she died. So you might die, too. Look, Melody, this conversation is way too deep for me. Let's just go on your computer. Okay, we can look up information about cancer and how you can work to get it better. Look, I already have a doctor, okay? And I have a mother. I don't need you to worry about me. But I am worried. What if you died right in front of me? You know what? Maybe I should go home. Why are you feeling sick? I feel fine. At least physically I do. What do you mean? I can't believe you're treating me like this. Treating you like what? All you talk about is my cancer when you're with me. You've only been here for like five minutes. That doesn't matter, Melody. Why can't you just drop the fact that I have cancer? I don't like talking about it. Well, you have to. Why? Because what if you died in front of me? How would I get you help? You know what? Maybe I should go home. Fine. No one's forcing you to stay here. Good. Good. <sighs> Melody? Go away. Leave me alone. I'm not going to go away. This is my bedroom, too. And I'm not going to leave you alone because you're my younger sister. I should be telling you to leave me alone. <sighs> this isn't funny. Well, let me ask you this. Did Mary Ellen go home? Was she sick? Not really. Well, what happened? Oh, and I had a fight. About what? I don't even know. I was just trying to be nice. And I wanted to know more about cancer. So you talked to her about nothing but cancer? I was just curious on what it was like. I mean, I was trying to be a good friend. Are you sure you were trying to be a good friend? Well, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I didn't want to think about losing her. Listen. I would hate it if I had cancer. Of course you would hate it if you had cancer. You didn't let me finish. I would hate it if people made a fuss over me. Would you like it if someone made a fuss over you? I wouldn't mind, because I would know their heart's in the right place. Melody. Okay, maybe I overdid it a little. A little? Ugh, okay, I messed up. But I don't know what to do about it. Mary Ellen is so mad at me. And I wasn't very nice to her either. Listen, if your friendship is as strong as you guys say it is, you'll walk things out. You always do. Give her a call. What if she hangs up on me? What if she doesn't? Give her a call. <sighs> okay. Hey, it's gonna be okay. Thanks. Man. Hey. Hey. I got your message. What's up? I owe you a big apology. For what? I shouldn't have dwelled on you having cancer. 
I was trying to be a good friend, but I realized that I was actually trying to comfort myself by asking you a lot about your cancer. And I'm sorry. I should have respected your field. Yeah, you should have. Don't you think it scares me to think about my cancer and to think that I might die? I can't even imagine. I know you can't. Nobody can unless they've been through what I'm going through. Some people don't get better, you know. I know. That's why I'm so worried about you. We don't have to worry about me. As long as I take my medication and as long as I go to my doctor's appointments, I have a great chance of living. But you know what I need even more than my doctors and my medicine? What? I need our friendship to be the way it always was. The way it was before you found out I had cancer. I don't want you to be my friend out of guilt. I didn't realize I was making you think that way. Well, you were. I shouldn't have gotten that angry with you, but my problem is pretty scary. But I don't like to talk about it. Do you think we could start over? I would like that. So would I. I'm sorry that I kept asking you questions about your cancer. I forgive you. I shouldn't have gotten so angry. Yeah, but I don't blame you for getting angry. Yeah. So, do you forgive me? Of course I forgive you. Our friendship is too strong to be broken that easy. Hey, look, if you still want to stay for dinner, the invitation's still open. I'd love that. Let me just call my mom to see if it's okay. Okay. Mary Allen? Yeah? Thanks for forgiving me. Well, thank you for apologizing. Now I'm going to go call my mom. Everything's going to be okay now.